Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome. St. John Missionary Baptist Church Incorporated, 1232 8th Street, Daytona Beach, Florida, 32117. Just in case you want to send a donation or whatever, say, God, kick it off and already talking about money. God is good all the time, and all the time God is good, and he's worthy of our praise. He's worthy of our all. Amen? Amen, amen, amen. amen. It's just good to be alive. Amen? Praise God. And let's give a shout out to our deaconess, deaconess Eleanor, who is uh, celebrating a birthday today. Happy birthday. Woo! Happy birthday. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you and God keep you is our prayer. Pastor Larry was our pastor. Good morning, good morning to everyone. God bless you. God bless Thank us you for all. tuning in by phone <laughs> or by Facebook. We're glad to you to come in to receive the word today. God always has a word. Yes, Amen. Yes, he does. So this morning we're going to ask yes, that God would open our minds and hearts that yes, we might Lord. be receptive to his word. And give him the praises that he Thank so deserves. Let us bow our heads, mm. our Father and our God. Yes, Lord. Lord, it's one more time we come with our heads bowed. Mm. We come with our hearts humble. Jesus, we Jesus, come with thanksgiving Jesus. upon our lips. Thank you. Thanking you for another opportunity to, to proclaim your word. Mm. Father, we ask now that thou would send down power from on high. Power. That thou might be able to endure power in me, dear Lord, yes, yes, that I might yes. be able to tell your people mm. that Jesus is the reason for the season. Jesus, Father, Jesus, I ask that Jesus. thou will hold us up when we're mm. falling Jesus, down. Jesus, Pick Jesus. us up when we're down, dear Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we pray for those on the bed of affliction. Mm. We pray for this nation, yes, this Jesus. state, our local yes, community. Oh, we pray for our mm. leaders, dear Lord. And mm. we pray that we live in a democracy that we can elect our own people, dear mm. Lord. So we Jesus, pray, Heavenly Father, Jesus, as we get Jesus. ready to go to the voting box. That mm. will put all of us on one accord. Yes, Jesus. That we might be able to put Hallelujah. Biden and his mm. his uh, and Harris in to give uh, leadership to this country. Oh, replace and Father, we, with we love, need Lord. to get away from Democrat, Republican, mm. Independent. We need godly people that love will lead people. us to higher heights. Mm. But we thank you for the power love of prayer. all your people. In Jesus' name, we in do Jesus pray. Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Praise God. Pastor's not telling you how to vote. He's telling you what he will be doing. Amen. Praise and God. If you don't know how to, who you want to vote for, call me. <laughs> and I'll tell I you do. why I'm voting for who I'm voting for. Mm. But I want you to exercise your right to vote. That's right. People That's have right. been drowned in ponds. That's the right answer. Hung by the noose. Fire holes on them. Dogs sick mm. on them. That we might yeah, have the really. right to vote. Mm. And I think every individual ought to take that chance and go vote. Yes, if you yes. can't vote, uh, you don't want to stand in line, vote early. Uh, mail your ballot in. Take it to the uh, elections office. Their, their election boxes will be all over mm. the county. And Hallelujah. if you can't get it in, give it to me and I'll take it to be mm. land for you. Amen? Pastor, know there's a limit as to how many you can take. Uh, another thing, Pastor, we need to know that the word says that government stands on the shoulders of our Christ Jesus. Amen? Praise God. So they should be doing right. Amen? Right by all of the people because we were all created by the same God, the God of love. Amen? Praise God. So let us uh, be prayerful. Let us do the things that we can do because the Lord says he steps in after we've done what part we can do. We do the possible and he steps in and does the impossible because all things are possible through him. Amen? Praise God. Man, this morning we want to come out of the book of Titus. Titus 2, verses 1 through 5. Is that your sister? Uh, sister Rosina. Oh, okay. Good morning, Deaconess Sister Rosina. Praise God. Again, tell them the scripture. Okay, we're coming out of the book of Titus. Amen. Uh, the second chapter, the first through the fifth verse. And I will start reading at the first verse. But as for you, speak the things which are proper for sound doctrine, that the older men be sober, reverent, temperate, sound in faith, in love, in patience. The older women likewise, that they be reverent in behavior, not slanderers, not given too much wine, teachers of good things, 
that they admonish the young women to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, homemakers, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God may not be blaspheming. Blasphemed. Praise God. Amen. I want to talk from the subject this morning. Senior saints a part of the plan. Amen. Senior saints a part of the plan. You know, a lot of us don't like to be called seniors, even though we are. Amen. But God has a plan for us as he did Amen. when we were younger. Amen. Mm, it's a blessing to be a senior. <laughs> to still be living. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Considering the alternatives, praise God. <laughs> In these times, it seems that everyone wants to live for self. Mm. Right seems to be what satisfies each person. Mm -hmm. In other words, doing what is right in one's own way. What and that's good. not what God has planned for us. Hmm. From the support scripture, Titus 2, verses 1 through 4, I want to place my emphasis on verse 2 and 3. Read those two verses again. Praise God. Titus chapter 2, verses 2 and 3, that the older men be sober, reverent, temperate, sound in faith, in love, in patience. The older women, likewise, that they be reverent in behavior, not slanderers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things. Amen. Amen. The new, uh, the new inter international version reads, teach the older men to be temperate, worthy of respect, mm. self-controlled, and sound in faith, in love and endurance. Praise Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Likewise, Amen. teach the older woman to be reverent in the way they live, not to be slanderous, are addicted to too much wine, but to teach what is good. Hmm. Then they can train the younger women to love their husbands and their children, to be self-controlled and pure, to be busy at home, to be kind and to be subject to their husbands, and so that no one will mangle the word of God. Amen? Praise now, God. most people think, well, what I just said, that the wife is supposed to do what the husband say do. Mm, that is not what I say. You've got to out. work it out together. However, the man is supposed to be the strong vessel in the house. So, therefore, the man should be the leader in the house. Amen? And the word says, Pastor, that we are to do unto others as, we, as though we are doing it for Christ. So, when you do things for your husband, when it says submit, you're to do what you would do for Christ. Amen? You know, treat people as God would treat them. Amen? And, and the word senior saint, when we talk about seniors, we, we're talking about people that have experienced things in life. Yes, yes. Uh, if, if you haven't experienced anything, how are you going to lead somebody somewhere? And that's if a mature you, saint. And we we, we all go word. through trials and tribulations. Mm -hmm. And you should learn from your trials and tribulations. From this segment of text, I want to talk about one group of people from the, 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 the subject that I'm using today. Senior men and women, old folks. Y'all say that, old folks. Older folks. No, I say it again, old folks. Yeah, you're my older folks. I'm calling this thing. <laughs> old folks who are living right for God. Uh, Amen? My theme this morning, senior season saints, a part of God's plan. In Paul's letter to, uh, to Titus, he's instructing them how to structure a church with organization and stability. For that to take to for that to take place, teaching is necessary. Mm -hmm. Amen. A lot of folk don't want to be trained. Hmm. We have workshops. People won't come. You will never find church members to be able to agree on the same date. Everybody say either go to work. I can't come. I don't. We got all reasons why we can't get together. And now we got a good one now. Uh, the uh, the coronavirus. Amen. Mm -hmm. So we can't get together. Amen. Amen? In Paul's letter to Titus, he's instructing him how to structure a church with organization and st stability. Amen? Amen. Titus is to teach the people Amen. in accord to sound doctoring. Mm. He is not to forget the seasoned saints. Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody. He needs to teach them so that they can teach others. That's why I try to teach my members. Uh, and and when, you, when I teach you, you can go teach somebody else. And Amen. Past, uh, you know, it's a shame that when people come in and they try to reorganize, first thing they want to do is get rid of all the old people. All of your your solid, mature, stand, been standing in the 
the, the, you know, the night, you know, just standing strong, want to get rid of them and just bring in all the young. But we need a, you know, that's why diversity is important. Well, diversity uh, also means old and young. Amen. The Bible says where there is no wisdom, wisdom the people, people perish. perish. So it's very simple. Amen. How, how are you going to have wisdom when you ain't been through anything? Mm. How are you going to have wisdom when you haven't grown? Amen. And wisdom is a gift from God. Due, due to the advances of medical technology, education, dieting habits, mind to body exercise, body exercise, people are living long, aren't they? Mm -hmm. We're seeing a gray America, a generation that is, that, now I look at the gray in my hair, amen? But I thank God that I'm getting older, amen? And I get wiser. Mm. Hello, somebody. That's the important thing. Uh, and um, people age. are living longer. <laughs> we we see America as a gray America, a generation that is destined to play a role in having a, a stability in the church. It may be the belief that the second saint, uh, the senior uh, season saints, are part of a plan. God has a plan for the senior citizens. Mm -hmm. He wants us to lead these younger people to higher heights. He wants us to tell of the trials and tribulations that we've been through. Amen. You see, today's younger generation, our children. Our grandchildren preserve us. Uh, 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 they, they, they perceive us sometimes useless for everything except writing a check. Y'all didn't catch that. Mm. Once you're writing a check, you're the best grandmama or granddaddy they ever seen. The best mother or father. Amen? Amen? Writing a check or pulling dollar bills from our wallet, you all right with them. Mess around and don't pull them dollar bills out and see what they're going to come to. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, the women are more guilty than that than men. Women always find a way to get their child an extra dollar. Amen? So it got quiet on me now because I know I'm right about it. What I mean, those of us who have reached the AARP status, mm. we're part of a That's special group. Plus Amen? Plus. Say that again? 50 plus. Well, the, the day, some of them getting there quicker. <laughs> Amen? Some of, us have, have, some of us have not mastered the computer. Some of us have not mastered the computer. We, not, we may not, not be able to send an email. We may not even tweet. We may we we may use MySpace. We may not use Facebook. Amen. Mm -hmm. We use smartphones. We can program our GPS or even retrieve a message from our com uh, consumer seller. Amen. Mm -hmm. But there are two skills we haven't mastered, and that is sending email. Y'all should have been saying amen. Mm -hmm. Sending email. And living right for God. When we master hey. those two, that's the best computer stuff you can learn. And you don't need a computer to get down on your knees. Hallelujah. And say, Father, I stretch my hey, hand to thee. No you, other Lord. help I know. Yes, yes. Amen? Mm. Yes, there are negative factors in growing old. Amen. Your bones start aching. Your eyesight gets dim. Oh, your blood don't run like it's supposed to work. Arthritis sinks in. Amen? Some but, of them get closed minds too, Pastor. Uh, but but we should see all the things that we're saying we're going through, God has given us a remedy for. Yes, all we yes. have to do, lie, the God is a mind regulator. Mm. He's a heart fixer. And I pray daily, daily, Lord, keep me in my right mind. Yes. Keep my eyes on the prize, eyes. Hallelujah. which is our Lord and Savior, yeah. Jesus Christ. Jesus, Jesus. All the senior citizens have learned why God intended them to be part of the plan. Amen. God has told us to receive those that are old. Hello, somebody. Receive those that are old. Amen. <laughs> it says that in Leviticus 19.32 in the NIV, it says, rise in the patience of the age. Mm. Show respect for the elderly mm -hmm. and, and, and revenge, your revenge your God. Because why? Mm -hmm. I am the Lord. Reveal that God is your Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. Job twelve twelve says, "With the ancient, with, uh, with the ancient is wisdom. In the length of day, understand the season saints are part of God's plan. Amen. Yes, God yes. has a plan for us. We, we're talking about the way we live in society today. We got all these marches going on, which we ought to have going on. We 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 black people have been beat up, thrown in jail, tr treated less than human." But God is speaking out now. Amen? God is still in charge. Yeah. And by the way, racism is not just for black folk because there are some black racists as well. Mm -hmm. Amen? Right. 
We got to, and, 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 and there's some, all black people are not good people. Y'all got quiet on me. Yeah. And all, all white, white people, people are not good people. Are not good people. There's some bad on every side. Good and bad and Amen. All. But we've got, we're all brothers and sisters in Christ. We've got to learn to love each other. We've got to learn to treat one another right. Amen. Uh, you, you get called the N word. It's not about, you haven't heard it before. I ain't going to jump off no bridge because somebody called me the N word. Amen. But I've been hearing it all my life. It's what's been to told. Be respected. But, 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 but it's just like a dog. If you kick a dog long enough, he's going to bite you. Am I right about it? It's the same as we are today. Amen. Folks saying we're getting tired of being treated the wrong way. And we ought to treat each other like we want. I, I would say treat each other like you want to be treated. But some of us don't care how we God treat God treats us. Amen. And Pastor, you know, I heard something there talking about Black Lives Matter, which they do. But I read something somewhere where it says all lives can't matter until Black Lives Matter too. <laughs> well, it, it, it is this. all lives matter because God created us all. But you can't say all matter when you're treating a part of uh, the population as though they don't matter. Even though we say that, we hear that, but do we live that? That's the question. And Christians God, God, should God, live that. God has already taught us how to get into this thing and win it. And we got to change the way we live, the way we talk, the way we act, and where we go. Amen? Love is the answer. But, Amen. but, but see, how can you love when you got hatred? <laughs> you That's can't, first of all, you got to ask God to take the hatred yes, out of you. How yes. you going to talk about you love somebody and you hate in the world? Mm -hmm. Amen? I hate anybody else and saying Amen. you're a Christian. And if you not. put them in God's hand, God will change their hearts. Mm -hmm. If it be his will. Amen? Amen. Amen. And then as I think about older saints, and, and, and I, I, we all growing older every day. Amen? Yes. I, I, I used to could run. I could lift weights. <laughs> but now, uh, when I lift weights, I'm good at 100 pounds. I'm good. Really, Pastor? Yes, I am. <laughs> because the fact is this. It is not how much weight you lose. <laughs> it is to get your circulation going. Mm. And, babe, you can take 50 pounds to get the circulation going. I used to think it was how much weight that you push up. <laughs> Amen. So in seriousness, in seriousness, don't worry about trying to be like the Joneses. That's right. Do what's right for you. And be like that, that's what's what's healthy for you. Now, if the doctors tell you you're gonna be down a while, if you let the doctor tell you that and you claim it, you're gonna be down. Mm. But you can say, Doctor, you don't know what you're talking about because I serve Dr. Jesus and let Jesus intervene for you. All right. Amen. Amen. Notice the organization. Amen. You see, Titus was first told to teach the older men a few important things. Mm -hmm. And then he was told to teach the older women. Mm -hmm. Again, back to teaching, some folk don't want to learn nothing. They don't want you to teach anything. Then when you find a person that know everything, run from them. Mm -hmm. Amen? Even <laughs> pastor, I, I, I learn every time I open up the word of God. Praise Amen? Praise God. Praise God. Church. You can learn something new every day. Be open to that. Older saints can be molded. These are the people who demonstrate the saving grace of God. Mm. No matter what the younger generation thinks of us, they have a tendency to take and, ex and expand the traits uh, they see us in. Amen? It's okay for us men to wear belts to hold up our pants. Mm. Y'all got quiet on me. Amen. I see men every day walking around. I got extra belts in my car just to give them one. Mm. Walking around and, and when they're running from the police, they can't get away because the pants done tripped them up. Mm -hmm. Amen. Put your belt on. <laughs> that came from prison where oh, they and, took and, your and belts from you. So that's why we get this wearing, and we uh, call it a style. It's not a style. So Keep your pants your up. Amen. Uh, buy pants where you don't need them. <laughs> These are the people who demonstrate the saving grace of God. No matter what the younger generation thinks, we have something to do for them. I hear you asking the question, why emphasize on the season saints? Well, these, these are men and women who have learned to be spiritually responsible. Amen? Mm -hmm. They know how to exhibit godly traits. They are, not, they, are, they, they are not perfect men or women, but they are children of God. And when you let somebody that's been wrapped up and tied up in the Lord, you will find out everything will be all right. Mm -hmm. But they have come up the rough side of the mountains. 
That's what mama used to say. They are human. <laughs> they too must be rebuked sometimes. But we are told in 1 Timothy 5 and 1, the men must be appealed to as fathers. Amen? Mm -hmm. Our senior saints are part of God's plan. First, they are to have a knowledge of sound doctrine. These are people who have been taught in the word. Our word. seasoned saints may not fit the mold what today's youth want them to be, but they know through the word what God would have them to be or would have them to do. And if you're wrapped up, tied up in the word of God, God will give you leadership to lead God's people to higher heights. Mm -hmm. I have a responsibility as a pastor to lead our people. Uh, they don't want to hear me all the time, but God said, tell the story anyway. Yeah. And then when they get in that line to go to heaven and, and, and the question is asked, well, Lord, nobody ever told me that my pastor Edwards told you. Mm -hmm. You didn't want to hear. Amen. Mm -hmm. So we have to be careful. And who, and it's, it's something that you won't listen to your pastor, but you listen to everybody else out there in the road, street. Y'all got quiet on me. Mm -hmm. Amen. But you listen to your pastor, you follow him as he follows Christ. Because some of these pastors are leading people down the road to hell. And even if they go into hell, God's going to hold them responsible. He holds the pastor. See, that's why I always say, Lord, keep my feet on solid ground. Keep my mind stayed on Jesus. See, I can't listen to what Sister okay. Elvis tells me to do when it comes to leading the church. No. I got to listen to the Almighty God. That's right. I can't listen to Deacon Charles to tell me how to lead the people. God has already given me my marching orders. And he's going to hold me accountable and you accountable on how you follow Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. Follow Quickly, God let me share God a few traits that should be found godly season saying that caused them to play such a role in the stability of the church. First, as I say, they are to have knowledge of sound doctrine. Mm -hmm. These are people who have been taught in the word. Yes. Our seasoned saints may fit the mold of what today's you want them to. They may not fit it, but they know the word is still put in them. Mm -hmm. God would have them to be Amen. and to do what the word says do. Amen. Amen. We, we, let, let, Amen. Let, us, let us take a, a mirror and follow our, our seasoned saints around. What do we reflect? Yes. Men. Men who knew how to possess modernization in all things. Hmm. Men who are doing nothing in excess. Oh, and, sure. Amen. Men with, see, uh, uh, men with serious men. Mm -hmm. Amen? Men who have lived long enough to know that life does not afford you everything that you want. That's why you do moderation. You have moderation in all things. Therefore, you do not have to commit crimes mm -hmm. to make it in life. No, to God obtain those things out of your reach. Our every Their faith need. is unwavering like Enoch. Mm -hmm. They walk with God mm -hmm. like Abraham. They trust God Hallelujah. and they have faith in all things. Mm -hmm. Like Noah, they have enough faith to be obedient to God. Hallelujah. Is that right? The reflection Hallelujah. also shows women, age women, who possess traits to becoming holiness. Mm -hmm. Women who can teach the younger how to be a godly woman, good wives and loving mothers, mothers who are willing to be friends and not buddies. Mm -hmm. See, mothers, you can't go to the club with your daughter and talking about we friends. <laughs> Amen. You 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 can't go out trying to put on tight jeans when you know you need it. Double X. Uh, Amen. And you trying to put on out, tight tight jeans. Out dress them, out dance them, out. But we've all been there. <laughs> it, it's no it's, I like the word I like the word designer jeans, but I'm gonna wear the appropriate down the designer jeans. Amen. Mm. Uh, uh, we get out with our, 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 our mascara. That's what y'all call it? Mascara. Mascara. <laughs> Trying to move the wrinkles. Mm. You getting old, the wrinkles ain't going away. Mm. Amen. Yeah. Just as accepted as life. Mm. Amen. We got all this weave oh, hair yeah, that we see. wear now. I better leave that alone. But at the same time, you still getting old. Hey, hey. Amen. Age gracefully and graciously. <laughs> but see, the point is this. No matter what you do, you still get no. And if you don't get right with God, your life is living in vain. Amen? Godly women, good wives, they, they make mothers, mothers like Hannah, who are, are willing to dedicate their children to God. That's right. Mothers who are willing to train them up. How can you do that. teach your children? Why can you raise your children and not teach them? Mm. You got to train them. We need to thank God for our seasoned saints who village. are living for God. 
-hmm. people who are stability to the church, mm -hmm. people who can effectively in helping to share or spare or shape the lives of this generation. Hallelujah. I like to say that I've been part of helping grow this generation because God has given me talent, given me wisdom to lead young people. Men and women who have put on the whole armor of God armor and are God. ready to Hallelujah. stand in the gap for those who are coming behind them. Mm. Men and women who are sold out for Christ, the who realize they have the charge the to keep Hallelujah. and a God to glorify, mm, must God. serve in this present age. Seasoned Jesus. saints, Jesus. living Jesus. right for God, Hallelujah. abiding under the shadow of the Almighty, mm. knowing how to be strong and of good courage, yes, Jesus. not being afraid to speak out or move out into the fields of society knowing that their God will be with them, Hallelujah. that he will never he fail will. or forsake them. Mm -hmm. I'm not worried about what tomorrow holds because we got to get through the day. Mm -hmm. We thank God. We, we, we're talking about we're preparing for tomorrow, but you got to get through the day. Mm -hmm. We got to, Lord, give us this day, <laughs> our daily bread. God said don't worry. Amen. <laughs> you, you know, see, people say worry. What's, why, why do you worry when you say you got God? Mm -hmm. There used to be a time I worry. I don't worry no more. Amen. I put it in God's hand. Yeah, people, people, people say, what, 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 why pray? Why pray if you don't worry? Mm. What, why say, Lord, I'm putting it in your hand and, and you still you're trying to control? It with <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Season sights, living right for God, abiding mm. under the shadow of the Almighty, yes, knowing yes, how God. to be strong and of good courage. Mm. We strong thank God, God that we are men and women. Jesus. Living right for God. Yes. Not yes. afraid to go out and tell the world of Jesus Christ. Mm. God's son, which is Mary's baby. Hallelujah. Mary's baby came down through 42 generations. Mm. Lived among men. Yes, was crucified. Yes, yes. Bled and died until the veil of the temple was torn from the top mm. to the bottom. Thank you for Jesus. Died until the grave mm. were opened and dead men were resurrected. Ooh. My God. The earth Hallelujah, quaked. Jesus. He Hallelujah. died. He died until the sun mm. refused to shine. Jesus. And the moon, Jesus, the moon Jesus. began to emerge. Mm. He was buried, but hey. he did not stay dead. <laughs> the Bible says that he rose on the third, third day, day with all power, all power in his hand. All power. Healing power, forgiving yes, power, yes, loving yes. power Thank with you. all in his hand. Lord, thank God thank for you. Jesus. God. Had it not been for Jesus, hey, where would Lord we have Jesus. been today? Thank you. I'm so glad mm. that he put a song in my mouth. Hey. I'm so glad he gave me a sight to see yes, with. Yes, yes, yes. Gave me legs to be able you to walk with. So, Lord, I just say thank you. Thank you. I thank you for the power mm. of prayer. Yes, yes, yes. In one of these yes. old days when we have to give up the gold. Yes, Lord. When we have to Ooh, stick our swords in the golden sand. Mm. But we won't have to steady war no more. No more. Every day mm. will be howdy howdy. Hallelujah, There'll be Jesus. no more goodbyes. Hallelujah, We'll be able Lord. to give God Hallelujah, all the praises. Jesus. Because Thank he's you. worthy so to worthy. be praised. So worthy. So as I close this morning. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. I admonish you, Thank you. to stay Hallelujah. on the battlefield Jesus. for our Jesus, Lord. Jesus. Because Thank one you. day mm. it's all going to be over with. And I'm thank yes, God this yes, morning yes. Thank you, that Jesus. I'm a part of the senior saints. Mm. I'm a part of those that will tell the story in mm. times like these. Jesus, I'm Jesus. a part of those Hallelujah. who ask God to forgive me of my sins. Mm. Continue to lead me that I might be able to lead your people yes, to yes, higher yes. heights. Thank you, and I'll be so careful so to careful. give you the praises. Jesus, Jesus. You know, we think about what mm. we're going through today. But God is still in charge. Yes, he is. Oh, it might look blurry, but God says one day, hmm. I'm coming back for the church. I'm coming back for the church without spot or wrinkle. Yes, I'm Jesus. coming back for those that have been Thank washed you. in the blood of the Lamb. Yes, Jesus. Those that are saved, Hallelujah. sanctified. And filled with the Hallelujah, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, so we thank you for your presence this morning. Thank you. Thank we you. We pray thank that each Jesus. and one of you. Thank you, Lord. Will mm. be encouraged. Jesus, to stay Jesus, in the Word Jesus. of God. We won't have Bible study Tuesday because uh, the president debate will be on. I encourage all of you to watch it. And we pray for the leadership. Pray, pray, and, and, pray. and I want to encourage pray, you church. to go pray. vote. Mm. Pray before you vote. Mm. Don't let your vote be taken away from you. As I say, and I say this all the time when I ask people to vote, people have been drowned in ponds, mm. hung by the noose, police dogs sick on them, mm. fire hose, that we might have the right to vote. So I encourage you to go vote. Uh, I think it's October the 5th, you can go vote. Vote, 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 vote. If you don't vote, 
you don't have anything to say. Mm. Amen? If don't you don't vote, excuses. don't no use excuses. excuses. So we ask that you continue. God, vote your God. heart. Vote your conscience. Yes, and if yes, you don't yes, know yes, who yes. to vote for, call Pastor Evans. Mm. And I'll be able to tell you who I'm voting for and why I'm voting. Mm. God bless you. Have a blessed day today and a better day tomorrow. We ask Minister Edwards to carry us out in prayer. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory for you alone are worthy of all praise. And we just say thank you. Thank you, Father God, for not only life, health, and strength, but thank you for giving us wisdom, wisdom which is a gift from God. Oh, Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Father God, for the mind or brain, Father God, that allows us to think. We thank you for the free will that you've given us, Father God, that allows us to make decisions, Father God. And we thank you for the desire to want to be more like Christ. We thank you for a mind to want to serve you. Oh, Father God, continually use us, Father God. Continually empty us yourself and fill us with your Holy Spirit. And Father God, for those seasoned saints, those that still have the salt, Father God, those that have the word in them, Father God, those that have the ability and the opportunity, Father God, to share with the young people, to show, uh, Father God, through the lives they live, Father God, a godliness. Oh, Father God, we pray for them. We pray that you will strengthen them, Father God. Uh, women and men, Father God, strengthen them, Father God, to live right. Strengthen them, Father God, to be able to share a good word. Strengthen them, Father God, to show what it means to be like Christ. Oh, Father God, we know there are a lot of elderly out there, Father God, that aren't saying the right things, doing the right things. And we pray for them and we lift them up too. Father God, we pray for this nation. We pray for this world. Oh, Father God, we pray that love, Father God, can dispel and, and replace hate. We pray, Father God, for a nation that wants to serve you, to follow you, to do it in line with, live in line with your word. Oh, Father God, to live that kind of a lifestyle like Christ. Oh, Father God, we just pray that you continue to strengthen us. Empty us yourself. Fill us with the Holy Spirit. Let your will be our will, Father God. Your ways, our ways, Father God. Oh, Lord, give us a mind to want to serve you, to be like you. Lord, we pray for our young people, Father God. We pray for the older people. We pray, Father God, for this nation as a whole, this world as a whole. Oh, Lord, just be with us, guide us, and keep us, Lord, we pray. And we pray for this upcoming election. We pray, Father God, that, that wisdom will rule, Father God. We pray that love will rule, Father God, throughout this nation, even beyond the vote, yes, Father God. You. Oh, let love, Father God, surround us and fill us all. We pray in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We pray for family members near and far. We pray even for our enemies, Father God. Oh, Lord, bless us all and use us all to your glory, to your glory. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Thank you, Lord. For we know that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. For you've already overcome the world. And we just say thank you. And we claim victory in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Continually be with us, guide us, and keep us, Lord, we pray. And all of God's children, those who love him, put their faith in him, put their trust in him, said amen. <laughs> Amen and amen. amen. Praise God. Here thank go. you, Lord. Woo, Jesus. Amen. Father, thank we you. thank you for what our mm. eyes have seen. Thank Hallelujah. you for what our ears have heard. Hallelujah. We admonish you to have a good day today. Yes, and yes, And a better yes. day tomorrow. Who, Lord. Remember, thank Jesus you. Christ is still mm. in charge. He still That's has right. the doors That's of the right. church open. Saying, come give mm. your life to Christ. Hallelujah. You've tried drugs, give alcohol. To come you tried and everything but the word of God. Yes, yes, yes. I dare yes, you to yes. try Jesus. Yes. May God bless you. As I say, have a good day today, mm. a better day tomorrow, and may you have a blessed week. Yes, In the name yes. of the Father, Son, Jesus and the Holy name. Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God bless you, and thank you Amen. for tuning in. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. All right, y'all have you a blessed day. You guys be blessed.